All right. Okay, guys. We're here at another tabletop for Tabletop Tuesday. This might be a little more complicated than the last Tabletop Tuesday, but we're going to talk about your air, your gang valves, and what I do for them and why. Now, if you have one or maybe two tanks in a vertical rack, a four gang valve might just be fine for you from your air pump. This air pump has two outputs, so you'd run one to each side of that. Um, but if you want to spread your, like, like let's say you have a fish wall, not just a fish room, but maybe a fish wall. You want to spread the air out. Your best shot is PVC um, and making your own check valves, or, or I'm sorry, your own gang valve out of that. You can still use your air pump or you might need a bigger one for a whole wall. But what we're gonna show you today is how to make one out of PVC. So we're gonna duplicate this, but it's gonna be longer. Um, you know, this is another gang valve thing that has some sort of hooky dooky check thing in there. Don't even know what it is. That's an official term, hooky yeah. dooky. Hooky dooky, yeah. yeah. So for what I'm gonna do, you basically need your piece of PVC. If you have a 10 foot wall, you get a 10 foot long piece and a couple caps. This does not need to be glued. You can just force it all together. Uh, you're not gonna get enough air leakage to cause any problems with that. So basically, force one cap on, force the other cap on. I'm a little particular with where the labels go. I don't know why, but I only want people in my fish room to see the white side. So what there size you go. PVC is that? This is three quarter inch. Now, you can also do this with half inch. You can do it with inch and a half. It all works the same. As you get bigger, you're gonna be more prone to wanna to glue it. Yep. Because the force fit is gonna be a little looser, mm -hmm. right? So I'm gonna do it out of three quarter. I also schedule 40. You want the thick wall, which I'll explain here in just a second, because We've got all different types of valves that we can use. Um, these are my original ones that I used. I um, built my first fish room out of those and they're like a dollar fifty each and very expensive. And you have to thread every hole. Yeah, and right? you gotta buy a tap. And you gotta buy a tap, which I actually brought one to show you, but I forget where it is. So yeah. Maybe we'll grab that at the end. But yeah, these work really good. Now, I will say, if you're moving water, these are sealed. So the O-ring, they won't leak out. And they're nickel plated. And they're nickel plated, yes. Yeah, my so. old, old fish room, that's how I did the water system, because yeah. I could thread it in. My original ones like this were made out of just brass, not plated, mm -hmm. and they would corrode. Yes. So we're not gonna use that one, but that's a type that you can and use. And they're expensive. They're very expensive compared to what we're doing. Um, you also can get these type. Um, um, this one, comes apart, I believe. Yep. Yep. I've used those in the past. We get them on eBay, yep. we used to sell them. Yep. They're, the, the problem I have with the, the blue one and the green one, they'll snap off sometimes if right. you're hard on the valve. And, or the game and valve this make. part will strip out really easy. Yeah. So really they're, easy. they're not as robust as the no. ones we're gonna show no. you. And then th we're, today we're gonna use these. Now, um, these, these are, are the Zis ones. These are the Zis ones. Now, I believe just by feeling this, there is no way that this is gonna leak if you use it for water. Hmm. Um, I'm not sure, but even if it would, you could take this screw all the way out and you could put some of the liquid thread locker or the liquid Teflon stuff, yep. and there's no way it's gonna leak water. So all right. already a big fan of these, uh, plus a big knob for adjusting. Um, and I can feel it go all the way in for a stop. Yeah. So you can shut it all the way off, no leakage. These, sometimes there's leakage. Well, sometimes when you close them all the way, they actually open. They open, yeah. right, yeah, exactly. So it's a weird, like you can strip them You can out, strip them really Because they're so, very pliable plastic. Right, so for what we're doing here, we're gonna use these, and let's say we wanna do six. Did I pick six? Yeah, let's do six. Okay. So you guys remember the tape trick, right? Hope video, so. Oh, when we made a spray bar. Yes. Link to that in the corner. Link to that in the corner. We're gonna take a piece of tape, put it on the pipe. 
Can you get it here? Sure. Okay. We have the technology. So you get it on the table, hold the pipe, take your pen. Doesn't matter where this is. Just take your pen, put it there, come straight. You've got a straight line down the pipe. Nice. Okay. Now we're going to uh, mark out where we want these. Let's... Now, if you're me, I don't use the blue tape, but if you're Dean, it has to be a perfect thing when he's done. So exactly. Yeah. So we'll start here about an inch from the end. Inch from the end. Then we got to divide how many more in there? Oh, this is four gonna, more. This is going to be hard. Yeah. And it's not the center. No. One, two, three. I don't know. We'll just do them here. Well, not everyone's tanks might, if you're on a 10 foot span, you might have three on one end, four yeah. on the other, two in the middle. And that's the beauty of this. You, you run a 10 foot piece on your wall, if you have a 10 foot wall, mm -hmm. you can put these taps wherever you want because you're just gonna drill a hole here. Yep. And um, now the key is once you drill that hole, you gotta put one in mm -hmm. or your air's just gonna blow out. So we've got six of them marked there. FYI, I just happen to be testing one of these. It's not a bad idea to take a scrap of pipe and test fit your hole size so that, because these are just going to force in. And we're going to count on Corey's ability to get a close up shot down the pipe. Yeah, I can get that. Can you get that? Yep. So it's this valve going in there. Mm hmm. And it's just forced in. It's very tight, very snug. The correct term, or the term I always use, is you want a friction fit. Right. So I did test that before, and I found out the drill size to use is 13 64ths. That's, that's the same one I always use, and normally my kits don't include that. I have to go I buy know, a specialty. I know. So 13 64ths, get it in your drill. Buy two when you're at the hardware store because you're going to lose one after doing this project. Right. We were talking about that earlier today where you just almost have to have a toolkit for each project yes. and just leave it with the project. In fact, you had the, the drill bit in with the screws so yes. that you wouldn't lose it, yep. right? Number two square head. So we're just gonna drill the six holes. By the way, Corey, that did not go into the table. That's right. That's why we have a cloth. No, there, there's the bottom of the pipe too. Yes. You want to try to drill straight up and down. Don't don't wobble the drill to make the hole extra big. Right. Just one. <laughs> and it can get very hot. Like if you're going to do 40 taps on a line for a fish room, you can start melting the PVC. Just know that from personal burning. Right. Now your tape's coming off. Get rid of this junk. Most of it anyway. Now for the taps, you just take them, and as we said before, they're friction fit. Push them in tight. You can, you can line them up a little bit. If you insisted on gluing these because you're, I can't say that word on it. You're, you're more OCD than Dean yeah. is. That's a, that's a thing, if I know it's good enough for Dean, I already know it's way more than good enough for right. me. Right, so so that's basically almost done. But you could super glue, glue and push it in, or you could use PVC glue and push it in. Do you know, maybe you'll know this answer, because I know the, the super glue is acrylic. Will it melt those two together or just fill in all the gaps? Uh, it depends on what type of plastic this is made from. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure. Um, so. I know the super glue will hold to the PVC. Mm-hmm. Uh, I would I would look at it more as a sealer, yeah, but okay. I also look at it as a step you don't need with with the air unless I mean if you're running a air compressor like a in very your garage, high pressure system you, you would blow yeah. these out but you're not now we've got the air going out but we don't have any air going in yet mm -hmm. so there's a couple different ways you can do this um, one way is you could just simply take your airline tubing and hook it up to one of them and open it up yep. and feed them from your air pump. Or what I do is I like to feed it from the end or from the side. And I'll show you how to do that. I'm gonna do it from the end on one of these. 
I can get one of these caps off after That's I force it. That's how tight they get. Ah, there we go. We're feeding it from this end, buddy. <laughs> now, this was 1364. So this is going to be a little bit too tight for the airline tubing. I've already, again, tested this. Because the airline tubing has to go over that. That's why. But we're going to push it into yes. this, right? That's why we're going to use a smaller one. A larger one, actually. Oh, a larger one. Yeah, because... Oh, right, larger. That makes... Yeah, right? So, we will first try it with a 1364. Um, I need to find a little bit of... I'll do it freehand. Don't do this at I didn't. I didn't want to do this because... You can... Well... Then it'll go into the table. All right. Just, so, we'll just get it going here. You're breaking the, the tabletop Tuesday. So you're not using the tabletop. There we go. Now, what I'm going to do is just test fit that really quick. And what I've done is I've cut a little bit of an angle on the end. Yep. This is just for pushing it through the hole. And I can tell right now that's going to be way too tight. Okay. So we got to go with the 732nd. Everyone knows that. And, you know, if you buy the right kit of drills, it'll have both of these drills in it. If not, just go to the hardware store and get those drills. This is how I ended up with like 10 Harbor Freight drill bit kits. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So we're going to just enlarge that same hole. And what I do to push this through is I use a little spit. Where can we buy that? Uh, most people have it in their mouth all the time. Mm. Twist and push. Yep. Again, a friction fit. So it's going to be tough, but the harder it is to get in there, it's going to stay there. Right. Now you got it in about like that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pull back a little bit and then it is tight. Have you ever, so my question would be, have you ever pushed it through, tied a knot, then pulled it back so it could never come out? Like if you had a kid or something tugging at if it? If you tied a knot, how would the air get in there? Good point. Thank you. Again, if you're worried about that, a little tiny bit of super glue and push it a little bit further. Yeah. But I, I don't know. Yeah, a knot won't work like a lamp cord. No. The one thing I always do do is I go like this to make sure mm. that there is air that goes in there. You could put a check valve or something in there to hold it, but. You know, I look for check valves. Yeah. <laughs> and I just happened to be at the Aquarium Co-op warehouse today and they're 10,000 short check valves That's for right. some reason. we're sold out. So they are sold out right now, but that is not where I put the check valve actually. I tend to put the check valves two or three inches from the air pump obviously depending on what the air pump is. Now on my brine shrimp hatchers, I put it right at the bottom of the hatcher mm -hmm. because if the power goes out, I don't want all of those eggs. And that's how I feel about the air. Exactly. Like the valve, maybe right? bring it inside or whatever. So this is going to go back on here, cram it on there tight. And you've got a six gang valve or a 16 footer or yep. a 10 footer, however you want. Um, easy to make, easy to adjust now. Mm -hmm. You can drop airline ever, anywhere you want. For holding it to the wall or your stand, I tend to buy the single-sided ones of these guys. They just kind of go over the pipe, one screw. Same aisle that you'd buy that pipe from. But I buy these in the electrical aisle because they're cheaper. Yep. And I buy the plastic ones. Yeah, I bought the plastic one. The, the reason I like these is because they're a little bit smaller and they fit over. So All right. that's just my opinion anyway. Yep. Let's say you're a normal aquarist and you just added another fish wall. Yeah, there you go. So you can make these things. The best way to do it is always run it in a loop, okay? And then feed it one place, maybe two places if you have two outlets. But PVC, you know, just elbows. Tees, put it all together. You can make a whole wall wherever you want it to be. Does yep. that make sense? I've got a video on how I did it originally in my fish room. In the big fish in the corner. room. Yeah, we'll yes. put that much larger system, yeah. but same premise on yeah. a larger scale. I tend to, um, you know, if you're already at two walls, go for the four 
and then just make a loop around the ceiling and drop down wherever you want to drop. Yep. Makes it really easy. Or hide it behind stands and carpet and TVs and couches and yep. that stuff. I've done that too. So if you like this video, hit the subscribe button, make some comments of something you might like to see, ask to be notified. There and go. there's one other thing, but I can't remember what it is. <laughs> I don't know what it is either other than- Oh, like it. That's right, subscribe, like, hit that notification bell and uh, sponsored by Aquarium Coa. Oh, and I have one other thing to show you really quick. Right. See this I found? I found this today, just today. Worm cone. Yeah, worm cone. So if you guys wanna know what's coming with this, comment yeah or watch a super old video of your fish room to know what it is there you go we'll put that link there too there you go all right guys we'll see you in the next one tabletop tuesday it's even tuesday when we filmed this. it is tuesday is that all amazing right. <laughs> i like it all right guys